Portsmouth had its share of damage from the storm. At least two people woke up this morning to find a large tree on top of their cars, leaving those cars undrivable. New tonight, Robert Boyd has that story. Flat out unlucky. That's how Nicole Corbin describes it. After all, she parked under the only tree on Effingham Street to come tumbling down during the storm. All that glass is in all my stuff. Nicole Corbin peered through the leaves and tree limbs into the back seat of her 2012 Volkswagen Jetta. Only one tree fell on this whole block, and of course it fell on my car. The trunk of the tree met the trunk of Corbin's car, smashing the window and bending the frame. She fears it's a total loss. I didn't even think to move it, honestly. The tree was just such a big tree. You wouldn't think something like that would fall. I didn't think it was going to be that bad. The car parked behind Corbin's also suffered significant damage. Everybody's been driving by, stopping, getting out their car, taking pictures. Oh my God, I can't believe that. People were jogging by, like, oh, that sucks. Corbin is just relieved that she and her five pound poodle Giselle weren't inside. Giselle typically sits in the back seat. It would have just been so traumatic if she was back there. I don't know what I would have done. Corbin said the tree belongs to the city and they have already spoken with her and assessed the damage. There is a chance Mother Nature may not deserve all of the blame. The city did say if the tree is old and was dead that they would take responsibility for the car. Corbin does plan to make the best of a bad situation. I just think it was a sign that it's time to get a new car. In Portsmouth, Robert Boyd, 13 News Now.